Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to the Donut Gaming Channel. I am, of course, Donut. And again, we're going to be playing some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This time we're going to be playing the mode Domination. called One Shot on the map Green the Band. Now, this, surprisingly, was actually a really fun game mode to play. And the reason it's surprising is because it's a snipers only kind of match. And me and snipers have had a really poor history together in terms of any sort of skill. <laughs> it's been quite a rocky experience for me with snipers. But this game mode, it was really fun. I'm not sure if it's because everybody is forced to use a sniper, so everyone is at the same kind of disadvantage of having a sniper with only one shot as each other. So it's less of, I need to find a really good spot to hide, and it's more of, everyone can only take one shot at me before I can get a shot back at them. Either way, it this mode really works in, it's a lot of fun. And of course, I'm no expert at it or anything like that, but I did go pretty well positive, and it was a lot of fun, so I figured I might as well post it and set it up here, because it's really awesome. <laughs> Alright, so... Snipers, like I said, snipers and I have had a rocky history. I've always, I've always wanted to use snipers. Like it's not that I completely despise a sniper rifle. It's just that I have no skill with them. Yeah, you can see right there. I have no skill with spatial awareness either. I jump right off the edge of the map. But it's just been a, a really hard time for me to find either a a sniper that I can use effectively, or be any good hiding spots where I don't just get mowed down trying to snipe people. So it's really been kind of a put off for me with sniper rifles and all that stuff and I just kinda, I eventually just grew away from them and I never really used them. And then there was my cousin back in the Modern Warfare 2 days. He loved sniper rifles in that game so much and he was kinda like my role model in that game. I, he was so good at it. Well, Especially then, for my skill level. Actually, he was really good. He was getting nukes and stuff like that. So, it, it, it's, he wasn't shabby. He was a pretty good player. So, yeah, he was definitely someone that I tried to aspire to be when I was playing. Because he was always, like, level-headed, calm, and collected in the game and all that good stuff. And his favorite sniper rifle in that game was the Intervention. So, the one-shot sniper rifle with... The max stopping power and all that good stuff. And that's kind of what the Moore's rifle reminds me of. A one shot kind of sniper like the intervention. And they actually, they kind of even look the same. Just the way the barrels are and all that stuff. And it just reminds me. <laughs> that's a good thing I shot when I did. I almost didn't get that kill. <laughs> but yeah, I've always kind of liked, ever since he played that game and I watched him, it's kind of drawn me towards one-shot sniper rifles so in like black ops 2 i was always trying to use the ballista or in those kinds of things which might have been also kind of the problem for me that i didn't give myself a really like a, a user a beginner friendly sniper rifle to start with and you know it kind of i'm not sure if that's the reason or what but it is what it is and we live on and we move on yeah, so going back to Black Ops 2 and my more of my history with sniper rifle, I was actually trying to help my girlfriend get diamond sniper rifles for the longest time. And, oh, it just, it never worked out. <laughs> uh, she was a lot better with a sniper rifle than I was. I just, uh, I had no patience to be a sniper in that game. I was always trying to move around and all that stuff. And, of course, you know, you got to get five, well, ten bloodthirsties with the sniper rifle to get the last Losing alpha. Um, the last camo well one of the last camos before gold for a gun and I just, it was impossible for me I couldn't do it if you sat me down and made me do it for like 20 hours I would probably only get one or two that's how bad I was and how hard of a time I had with it so yeah snipers and I just we haven't really gone well together for a long while <laughs> So this mode, this game mode, really kind of surprised me with how fun, A, how fun it was, and B, how well I did. It was just, it was really refreshing and exciting, because sometimes you really do need a kind of a pick-me-up from your suckish slump 
something to show you that hey you're actually not too terribly bad so you can just be like yeah and as you can see i have total awareness of this map i <laughs> i only fall off twice in this match actually don't quote me on that it might be more than twice and as you can see right there i'm not a good sniper either so but we live and learn we live and learn now when you start out in this match you can see this guy right here he's got just a normal scope and this guy next to me he has a normal scope on his sniper rifle when you start out one shot there are there are a multitude of um, classes that you can start out with and all of them are the Moore's rifle so they are all one shots still to, hence the name one shot and the only secondary weapon you can get is the RW1 so the the railgun handgun thingy <laughs> my favorite handgun but I suck with it still. So I chose this one, this class, A because it has um, blast suppression. I love, I don't I don't know how people can play this game, Advanced Warfare being this game, I don't know how people can play it without having a blast suppressor on because just exposing yourself every time you go to boost on your radar is just not for me. It's something I'm about, I'm going to avoid. And so that was a automatic A plus for me for this class. And number two is um, the lack of a scope. So I like the iron sights, which is another reason why I enjoyed trying to use the ballista in Black Ops 2, even though I sucked, was that the ballista had its own iron sight setting. And it just, I'm no good at hard scoping, and I can't quick scope to save my life. Like, literally, I have practiced over and over and over and over and over again trying to quick scope people with solid scopes on Black Ops 2 and even this game just a little bit I just, it doesn't work I have no idea how people do it it's just it's awful as you can see here the melee in this game is fantastic it's, it's kinda like being in World War 2 again I mean World at War <laughs> which was set in World War 2 so I guess that kind of statement does make some sense only instead of rubber knives this time it's rubber fists and I have just as much trouble hitting people in this game as in World at War <laughs> alright back to my my topic talking about scopes yeah I was talking about scopes so I like the iron sight because it doesn't zoom you in so far so you can still look around quicker I think I deserve a little a round of applause for that excellent shot right there <laughs> Uh, so you can obviously see that no one with a uh, a sniping montage has to worry about me stealing your glory or anything like that. I suck still. And, yeah, you <sighs> Every time I think about doing that with a knife, it just upsets me a little bit. <laughs> it's so bad. And I'm so bad at knifing. Maybe it's, maybe it's like a combination of both poor skill and a really hard or a really poor like, targeting system with your melee, but I don't know. Either way, it just spells trouble for me. Securing B. And it's just so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... I was grinning this entire match. Like, my... I couldn't even close my eyes. You can see right there, I got a Merciless with a one-shot snipe rifle. Ten kills. Eleven. Eleven kills in one life. That, that, that's hard enough for me to do when I have a machine gun, let alone a sniper rifle, let alone a one-shot sniper rifle. Enemy taking C. And I think I found a, a kind of like a secret that helps me to do kind of well with these in this game. I found that if I just if I try to grind a mode, it I just something about it just kind of puts me off. It puts me in like a, a little funk. And if I play a game mode for a multiple number of sessions like in a row, I just, I get worse and worse and worse and worse. This is actually the first time I have ever played gun game, or I mean one shot, ever in my entire advanced warfare career. This is the first time I've played it. And I think that's, I guess you can kind of call it beginner's luck, maybe a little bit, maybe that is part of it. It's the element of you're coming new into this, so you don't have any expectations for yourself. But it's like, I felt so good and so empowered at how well I was doing. And then it's shattered by acts like this. 
Oh, was that five shots for one guy? Hey, but I'm on a uh, I'm on a bloodthirsty streak again, so it's all good. I can accept that. But yeah, I think that the best way to get well for me, the best way for me to get like a good match is just to have kind of like a one and done kind of mindset. Just play the one match, and if it doesn't go well, just walk away. And if it goes well, just walk away. And then come back later, and who knows? Maybe you'll do even better. It worked for me, and as you can see, my team won. And I'm sure here soon you'll get to see my my score streak. Oh my my KD ratio. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Yep, 29 and 12, which is I think I think that's the most kills I've ever gotten with a sniper rifle ever. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time, and peace.